What's up, what's up? It's your boy Dwell, a.k.a. Mr. J, aquí en la casa, coming at you sideways with another segment of Las Different Voices. Today I got my boy Danny in la casa. What's up, boy? How you doing? Hey, what's happening? How's it going, man? Been a long time. It's been a while, man. It's good to see you again. I, I appreciate you coming through. Thanks, man. Thanks for having me. You know, me. you know. I'm happy to be here, bro. Let's support the homies and your shit, you know? Thank you, thank you. It's been a, it's been a long time, man. I'm really happy that you made it through. I'm 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 excited, you know, and uh, thank you for coming through, man. For sure, man. Happy to be here. This is Danny right here. Danny, me and Danny go way back. He's uh pretty much uh Third Eye Boogie on Instagram. You can follow him on Instagram, Third Eye Boogie, right? That's right. How do you spell it? Uh, three, R D E Y E Boogie. That's Third right. Eye boogie. Third Eye Boogie. That's right. Why that name, bro? Uh, I don't know, man. You know. Just uh, besides the fact that, you know, hip hop addicts, you know, we uh, keep it hip hop, you know, we boogie, spit, you know, we do all that shit. But uh, I don't know, man, really. I don't know. So so, so me and Danny, <laughs> me and Danny go way back. I know him as Panda also, you know, we'll, we'll get to it right now. But we go way back, you know, and we're just chopping it up right now. How it's been a while. And he's like, we kind of disappeared from the radar till, till you logged into Instagram. He's like, how long you had it? I was like, two months, bro. Damn. Well, yeah, like I said before, I never really had that social media stuff, you know. And, and now now that I have it, you know, we, we kind of reconnected right there. And I had to hit him up because, like I've said many times before, I wanted to be hip-hop because I do music and, and stuff like that. And and this this guy right here knows what's up with hip-hop. You know, he's a, he's a hip-hop addict. And, and we'll get to that too, man. We'll get to that too, you know, because... He, he got some good stuff to talk about, you know, good stuff to say about uh, hip hop in Santana, right? That's right. That's right. Uh, You know, a little background on the homie right here. We were talking about how, you know, we used to do a lot of go to a lot of open mics, whatever it be, poetry slams, break shows, you know, and homie got on a couple mics, you know, smashed it a few times and stuff like that. So, you know, you know, yeah, he the homie's been in Santana doing his thing, you know, but he thank disappeared you, off thank the you. radar. And, yeah, uh, I haven't talked to him a couple years and stuff, so you know it's good to see with the consistency of the podcast. So you know, happy to be uh, here, bro. Th thank you, man, and and, and and I appreciate it. Like I said, I, I'm thankful. It's not that that you know. In reality, I need I need your guys' support. You know what I mean? And and by you being here, it, it's showing me a lot of support, man. And Talk coming from you, man, because you you did your thing. You know, you did your thing for the city, man. And a, a lot of people don't know. You know, a lot of people are youngsters and. They don't really know what, what what really, you know, what what was really out there, what's been out there, you know, and at least in the city of Santana, and 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 you put your part into it, man, you know. Santana's a beautiful place, man. You know what I mean? From the, you know, the music to the, you know, underground to the quinceanera shops, you know, it's a lot of roots in the city. You know, humbled to be part of the, you know, you know, a hip hop addicts clan. You know what I mean? So, you know. Homies do it all, you know. We smash on any element when it comes to hip hop, you know. We spit, cut it up, you know. Fucking art. That's the one thing we all have in common, you know. Everybody fucking does some art. I'm not really, you know, active like I used to be nowadays, but you know, you fools know the homies keep it active and shit. You know what I mean? It shit never died out, you know. Well, so. well, well my, tell them, tell them what kind of art you do, man, <clears throat> or or what kind of art you you were you were exposed to. <sighs> Hood art, man. You know what I mean? Any kind, bro. Like you know. You name it, bro. It was before the artsy fartsy, you know, like a, uh, or oh, what are they, um, you know, before it was hip, it, you know, before it was cool, bro. Before it was like the, you know, hip scene and all that shit. You know what I mean? It was, you know, it was always wheat pacing. There was always, you know, it was always punk, putting shows up. You know, it's always been slaps and all that. But you know, it was a, uh, it was rugged. You know, it was about the art. And if it was, you know, put it down with the art. You know, if it, um, it wasn't about that, it got a little heavier sometimes and stuff. But you know, the real, you know, artist, you know always held their shit down and still do and know what time it is and you know to this day who little homies you know still putting it down you know some even older homies never stop dude you know the just you well, know. Well, well, well my my boy right here he goes by i know him as panda you know and and maybe a lot of people seen him you know seen seen his, his art you know he goes by panda tell him why panda first of all why why, why panda I mean, the homies gave me that name, you know what I mean? There's, you know, like, w look, man, I mean, I guess 
you know, to talk about like the the, the clan, you know what I mean? We're, you know, we're, we're homies. We're homies always, bro. You know, we've never been more than a few heads and stuff. We're always been really tight. Like before anybody gets down with the squad, we have a little, it's, you know, a little trial or something like that, you know? Let's uh-huh. just say, when I got my child, they gave me a new name and, you know, said, go put it up. And if, you know, you get it up in 30 days, we'll have a meeting and, you know, the whole, you know, the whole club will decide basically, you know, if you're with it or not. So that was the name. You know, I've always been like, you know, into anarchy and a rebel. You know, I threw up with an E at first, you know what I mean? But, you know, needless to say, tore it up and got down with the, you know, with well, the hot clan. And Well, well my boy right here is pretty much a, a one of the old school graffiti writers, you know, from Santana, you know, from a legendary crew, too, from the from the Tillamook tell tell crew, bro. Gracias, man. You know, you have been speeding it out, but but in reality, you know, I mean, look, man, it, it's a legendary crew, yeah, bro, in the city of Santana. You know, in Orange County. Yeah, you know, the, the big H.A., you know what I mean? I guess I don't know the way to say it, bro. I mean, you know, 81ers, you know, the, you can call it what you want, bro. I mean, it's 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 been there, you know what I mean? It was there before I got down, like the older homies putting it down, you know, these, you know, very diverse few individuals, bro. When I got down with them, you know, these was had like a punk band. I was a skater then, you know. Some of the homies, you know, were, you know, everybody just had their own scene, bro. But like I said, the one thing we all had in common was, you know, art. You know, some homies did the more the music thing, but we're always about the hip-hop. You know, when it came down to the art, just forget about it, you know, like it was it was a rap, you know, like I'm not active nowadays, like I said, but at, you know, like shit happens, you know, homies, you, you, you know, did bad your or thing. something like that, you, you know what thing. I mean? Yeah, I did my thing, you know, but, you know, you still catch me doing, you know, you know, just. Well, well on top of that, you know, it, it it's an old school crew, man. Like you said, it's been around before. It's still around. Before you, you know what I mean? You were probably, were we born? Probably, right? We were already born, but maybe we were babies when when it started, huh? I mean, I I seen these was you know killing it, you know, when I was little. Like I said, I mean, I I, I don't know, caught luck or whatever and stuff. But like you know, this was just happened to kind of be in a neighborhood close to where I lived. You know, even though I lived you know closer to enemies and stuff like that, the homies I kicked it with and skated with, um, you know, on that block, you know, were you know some of the old school heads, original you know HA heads, and you know we kicked it, you know, played ball, like you know it was like I said, it wasn't always about painting. It was just more so like. It's like a family, bro, and it's still the family. Like you know? a friendship. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Like, yeah, family, dog. No, I mean, you know, yeah, straight yeah. up, I'm tired with some of these fools. You know what I mean? More than I am with some of my own family members, bro. You know, it's like, you know, that's just how it's been. You know, older homies always looked out for the little homies, bro. So it's blessed to be from that type of fucking situation. So you know, we try to look out for the little homies and shit. You know, but yeah, you know, well, like it, I said, it, they still catch wreck, bro. Don't doubt it. I mean, you know, shout out to the fools from Pomona, San Gabriel, bro. <laughs> Dog, killing it more now than ever. I mean, I don't need to say for you fools drive around. You know, if you drive yeah. around, you know, bro. I don't gotta. Yeah. You know, it, it, so props it, to the homies still fucking killing shit, bro. Yeah, I seen know? a couple of your boys still doing your their thing, man. Like, shh. Everybody. Days, repo. I say names, you know what I mean? You guys you guys know. You know what I mean? All the all the, all the other homies and shit. Shout out to the little homie Ecor, too. You know what I mean? I see. You know, I seen that guy up. I seen that guy up. You know, killing E-Cor. that shit, you know? Like, yeah, it, it's a trip because, like, like you were saying, you know, I, I used to. Before. I met I met all you guys, you know what I mean? I used to see it. And then it's a trip because I met I met everybody. And now I don't know the new the new guys, but I see them, you know what I mean? There aren't many, you know what I mean? It's still the same fools that always been putting down like, sh- you know what I mean? It's But there's a know. there's a different uh probably a We group, got we got young blood, a, a, you know what I mean? Through, 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 a new generation or, or maybe not new, but it's you know, I mean, it's still a different group. Uh, it's same same, but you know what I mean? It's still a different era, right? I mean, shit, look, man, if you don't evolve with the times or adapt, bro, like, you know, you just, I guess you're going to be history, bro. And I mean, like I said, we've been, you know, like, I mean, it's not even just, you know, Santana. We're Santana. We're OC. You know what I mean? Um, You know, the homies been clicking with the homies out there in Pomona and San Gabriel. You know what I mean? The 42s in Riverside. Like, oh, it's, it's deep. You know, everybody is kind of on their own shit. You know, like I more so function with the homies down here in my city. But um, it's all love and shit. And it's all the same letters. And you know what I mean? Everybody's still tight. And. I rem- I remember, bro, like when it sounds like cleaner than ever. That's for sure. Sh- that's right. Oh no, yeah, that that crew that crew is a legendary. To me, it's legendary. You know what I mean? It's it, it's uh, everybody does their thing. You know what I mean? And but I saw I I remember I remember a, a little different type of like a blow up scene. You know what I mean? And that's when when you were doing your thing, bro. It was that era where it kind of it kind of jumped. You know what I mean? You, you, you like speak about that a little bit. Remember, remember I mean, how, that scene in Santana at that time. How was it for you, bro? 
Well, I mean, you know, I mean, the scene don't change. You know, the fools who, who paint hard, you know what I mean? Know who the other fools who paint hard are. And if you don't, you beef with real fools who paint hard, like, you know, you're, you know, you're out there and you know and stuff like that. I mean, you know, when I when I was active, like super active, and stuff, especially when I barely got down with the HA, I got down like late 01 and stuff like that. You know what I mean? Um, I mean, you know, I had shit to prove, bro. I wanted, you know, I wanted fools to know what time it was and stuff. And like I said, I've been seeing the, you know, the HA up way before I started painting. Right? I used to write like, I used to skate, you know what I mean? I was a fucking punker and stuff. And, you know, I used to write like Limp Biscuit Rocks and shit all over, all around. And I used to remember seeing like Hop. I didn't know what it was and shit, you know? I didn't really re- realize it was a crew till like way later and, you know, they ended up being the homies, you know? So, who, I, don't, who, I don't remember what I was saying. Who, who was the first guy you met, bro? Like, 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 and, and you said, yeah, I, I want to start writing for you guys. Well, you know what? So, no, so you, you, I mean, you, you know what I mean? Go ahead, go ahead. Well, yeah, you know, some some of the homies I kicked it with and I and I painted with, you know, shout out to my homie Power out there in Morelos. Oh, that's Morelos right, that's H-A. right. You that's where he's at? Yeah, yeah, last I heard. You Whoever know doesn't I mean? know that guy... I mean, all, all you youngsters out there, that guy was, it is a legend. You know what I mean? Santana Rider legend. I'll tell you that right now. Power, H-A, a.k.a. Domain. Shout outs. Been a long time, bro. Been a long time. <laughs> yeah. Go so, ahead, bro. So, uh, you know, I was always a one or solo rider, but, you know, the, these homies, you know, they were from MAC back in the days. The homies brothers from MAD. There were a couple different, you know, crews. I, I wrote a bunch of different names. You know, everybody switching shit up back then, but these fools, uh, you know, they, they were kicking it. They had met, I guess, linked up or something like that. You know, with some of the homies, Matt, Polly, you know, Ohio, fucking, you know, photo. The homies who were, you know, in the neighborhood back in those days. And um, they were talking about, you know, hopping on the trial, trying to get down with the HA. And there was really, like, you know, two, two, three, four maybe crews, you know, that were really, like, you know, into, like, you know, straight, like, hard graffiti, bro. Like, you know, like, multicolored fucking bombs, wild style, you know, multiple shit, mul- you know. Not just in Santana, like multiple cities, you know, whatever the fuck, you know, getting up. And um, they were talking about getting down with the HA and shit. And, you know, so when uh, before they ever took their trial or whatever, you know, we started, you know, going to barbecues, kicking it with them. And like I said, I, the thing that tripped me out the most was these folks were like, oh, you know, they were like, they were like, punk. they had a band, oh, yeah, bro. Yeah, they had yeah. a band. <laughs> Honestly, the thing I like most yeah. about that was just fucking getting faded and going to the fucking punk shows, bro. And I was like, that was my scene, you know, then. Uh, pff, um. Let me see. When I really started fucking with them, one of the homies was in a wheelchair, still racking paint. You know what I mean? Like, uh, t- t- hey, to be honest, you know, the eighty ones are the reason your fucking spray cans are locked up, fucking behind the cage <laughs> nowadays, bro. I mean, speaking of that, like you say, in reality, colors. I mean, nobody was really doing that in Santana, man. And if they were doing it, they were doing it. Where really nobody really saw it, dog. You know, yeah. You know, yeah, you know what, that's right, bro. Like, there's always been kind of like, you know, there's multiple layers of graffiti, multiple types of graffiti, you know, but, um, you know, um, mostly that shit then, I guess, you know, you would see in yard, you know, whatever, but you wouldn't get as much pause for that shit, you know, the old school crews, like, you know, the homies would kick it with an HA, like, they were doing that shit on the streets, on the freeways, you know what I mean? They always had rules, bro, like, that's the one thing I like, like, we don't ride on people's property, you know what I mean? We don't ride on fucking trees and shit, you know, we just fuck up city shit, you know what I mean? Freeways, big buildings, billies, heavens, whatever the fuck, you know? City shit, you know, fuck, give it to the man, bro. You know, what, yeah. what was anarchy. what was the most exciting thing that you you hit up? Uh, probably Billy's. You know, billboards were fun and shit like that. You know what I mean? Um, had a couple of local favorites and shit. You know, <laughs> local favorites that were you know, you know the secret to get up there that were you know chill and stuff like that. Um, really anything with the homies, bro. Freeways were always my favorite. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. The 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 the, people the rush. The, the the one that you got the rush. Well, it was a billboard. Like well, you I'm you know sure. I'm scared of heights, so I, I guess yeah, you know what I mean. Like, <laughs> you know we get up there, you know. Like damn, you get up, you I shouldn't get be down doing this. Shit. Yeah, if you get up, you get down. You know that was always the mentality, but uh, you know I don't know, man. You know, like no, nobody from my crew's a pussy. You know what I mean? Nobody, you know. So it's real writers, like I man. Said, right? I think about my homies when I'm getting down. Like I gotta let the homies, you know, see this shit. Fuck everybody else. Like the homies gotta know I can fucking put this shit down too, bro. We it's a friendly competition between the homies, bro. Everybody else. You know, it wasn't really on level. We haven't really battled too many crews, bro. Anybody that was really, like, dope artists were usually the homies. We fucked around with other crews, you know? You know? I, I you know, throw them out there, bro. I'm here to talk about my homies and shit. You know what I mean? Whatever you want to talk about, bro. You know what I mean? <laughs> Rest in peace, Gacho, though, bro. You know what I mean? You know? Oh, Eats, right, right. All the homies and shit. Cynic. You know I heard a lot of, I heard a lot about that guy. I met him grandma. once. I met him once. But he, 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 he was a dope writer or what? Who? The, the guy, Gacho? 
Yeah, he was, he was a dope yeah. homie, bro. He was a dope homie. He was where, a where was he writer, based out? You know where mean? was he based out of from? He's from the fucking PNS with PCBs and shit. Little homie from Orange. Yeah, that, that's from Orange, though, right? That's yeah, based they're out from Orange. Orange. You know, some of the homies. You know, they were the they were dope. Which I can't even which, call them the little homies. Which they're they're, they're the another good crew in Orange County, right? Old school crew, original yeah, yeah. Santana crew too, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Throw fucking love to it, them. If anything, when it comes to graffiti, 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 the people that have been holding it down, I would see them and HA. You know, they're they're. There's been a lot of crews, you know what I mean, but I think I seen for Orange County in general it was PNS and and HA. Put like but I this think even w- HA is still. But we're always down to battlefields, bro. You know what I mean? Like like I said, like anybody that wanted some, that was never a fucking issue, bro. But I mean, let, needless to say, there weren't too many battles that went down and shit. You know what I mean? Yeah. For that for that reason alone. Well, because nobody like, could hang, right? I mean, pff, probably. You know, like I said, for, if the homies were to battle to this day, like yo, you might not catch me, you know, catch free with, but yo, you catch me taking some of the homies, do putty bop. Getting buckets, something, bro. You gotta, it's homie love, bro. You know, I support the the fucking team, bro. You know, yeah. We're fucking, you know, like I said, we branch out to a fucking fishing club now. What's up? How, how, <laughs> how, how, how was the 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 experience, bro? Like, what what do you see from then to now? Like for graffiti, what, in general, yeah. For in graffiti, what, what, yeah. At graffiti, you know, I mean, that was always like, you know, like I said, that's the one thing we all had in common as a squad, as a, as a hip hop fucking crew. You know what I mean? Was uh, the painting and shit. Um, I mean, pff, it, it's evolved, bro. You know, fools are like, it's like skateboarding in the fucking X Games. You know, I remember when fools did the first backflip on a bicycle, and then now fools are doing like double front flips, all sorts of crazy shit, you know? Fools are doing wild shit painting now. So, um, it's, it's, it's evolved. It keeps evolving, you know? The whole, I mean, uh, you know, I, I like, I'd hate the street rules of it have changed, bro. You know what I mean? Like I said, there's a lot of like, uh, people doing it, you know, who shouldn't be doing it, bro, or, or aren't really graffiti writers, aren't about the scene, the more so about the hype. Or whatever the fuck, you know? So, I guess it's always been posers, bro. You know what I mean? Even in skating, it's always been posers and everything. It just seems more like of a wave now. So, that, that shit's frustrating. But it's evolved a long ways, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I mean, it kept, it got me in a lot of trouble, bro. But also kept me out of trouble. Like, you know, it stopped me from, you know, never got into game banging and shit like that. Even though all the homies gang bang, you know what I mean? Or, or, or you know, or, or don't. But, um, you know, being from Santana, for, you know, like shit's real out here, bro. So, it's like, you know, like, you know, you, you choose, you know. You know, who you get down with, or birds of a feather flock together, whatever. Like, I got down with some real homies, you know, and I'm still down with them to this day, 100%, bro. I mean, family man now, you know, I'm older, like I said, you know, <laughs> you know, I, I struggle to hop a fence nowadays, you know, I'm mean, hop a fence to do some ninja fishing and shit, but you know, I mean, I'll fucking, I'll put them up, you know, you, you know, I'm out here, bro, you know what I mean? Ooh, Hardly ooh, ever ooh. seen, but I'm fucking out here. What's the difference, bro? Like, cause there's gangs, there's, in your opinion, there's gangs, there's actually taggers that are gangsters, right? Tag bangers? Pretty much, it's that still a gang, right? And then you, you know that's always and, been and then the thing. Then there's graffiti. They're real graffiti, right? What's yeah. what's your uh, idea of of that? I mean, my take on it is like it's always been like that. Like uh, you know, um, I feel like you know if you're gonna tag bang forever and stuff like that, like it's because you're scared to join a neighborhood. That that was always my opinion on it. You know what I mean? Unless you know, hey, you know, I've had homies, bro. You know, I've had homies, you know, from from the clan. You know what I mean? Be like, get out and be like, I want to take it to the next level. Like I'm gonna start packing. You know, the HA's never been about that shit, bro. Like I said, we've been about, you know what I mean, painting and, you know, holding it down. But like I said, nobody from my crew's a pussy, bro. So, you know, a lot of fools out there, a lot of fools out there know, you know, what's up, bro. You know what I mean? And, um, you know, so like, you know, if you're really about it, you'll progress to the next level and join a neighborhood. Whatever it is, you know, everybody has their own cup of tea, bro. Like I said, that wasn't my cup of tea. I like hip hop, painting, you know what I mean? Spitting, breaking, popping, you know what I mean? Music, bro. I've always been about the music, you know what I mean? So. Speak a little bit about uh, graffiti and music, bro. What? Well, well, Cause uh, there's uh, it's what what do they call it? The five elements, right? They're yeah, I mean, you know, if you want to fuse them together, yeah, like you know, there's what there's MC and there's fucking painting, there's fucking cutting it up, you know what I mean? And there's fucking booging, bro. You know what I mean? That I what that I didn't repeat any of them, right? You know what I mean? So the four elements, bro, they all go together, dude. If you and graffiti, did you say graffiti? I said graffiti, painting, yeah. Painting, yeah, painting, painting. painting yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? Like it's, you know, it's art. Like you know, it's, um, <laughs> it all goes hand in hand, bro. Like I said, uh, you know what I mean? Like music, whatever, be it, whatever genre of music you like, you know. Like I said, I, I still listen to you know bands and shit. You know what I mean? Funk, whatever. Like it's, but you're about the music. You know what I mean? Like, um, you know, I guess 
you could, you know, specify in one and stick to one and stuff like that too. But you know, like it's you know to each their own, bro. Like the hip hop acts, we've always been, you know, that's what you like, like cool. Who but but, it, but it's kind of like involves, right? It's probably it, it, it's oh. kind of like a combo. You have to have some hip hop, right? I forgot. What you have to have me, some bro. rap music. Oh, so you're talking about music and fucking painting, rap bro? Well, painting. Sh- hey, look, check it like this. I've always had a soundtrack in the back of my head when I'm fucking fighting. <laughs> when I'm walking, when I'm about to go on a mission, bro, you know what I mean? Whatever it is, I have a soundtrack to my head, you know what I mean? You gotta have something. Like, if you paint, bro, you know, your right side, bro, you know, you're artistic, you know, use the right side of your brain, bro, so, you know, you attach to music, to art, you know, to color, to shit like that, you know, whatever, you know what I mean? You're not, you could be about the math and all that shit, you know what I mean? So I just feel like, you know, if you're about it, you're about it. If you're with it, you're with it. So, you know, if you paint, I'm sure, bro, you paint to fucking music, you know, nobody paints to, I mean, you know what, I take that back. I'm sure people paint to silent, you know. Silence and whatnot. Everybody has their cup of tea, but yeah, you know. So what what will get you? What will get you in, in in the zone, bro? Me in the zone? Fuck. I mean, like you know, I've always liked like. <laughs> yeah, that's hard to say, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I guess it's it's my vibe, bro. If it was if it was a Nas, you know, some Big L, some fucking, you know, what I mean, some some Guru, KRS, you know what I mean? You know, fuck. It might be some fucking Misfits, some Rage. You know what I mean? Depends on what type of vibe I'm trying to go out in. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it might be some violent ass shit, or it might be some. some Happy vibe and stuff, you know. It all depends, bro. You know, I, I have a, you know, like I just, you know, I'm about music, so I have a very, you know, wide. I well, guess. well, well. A lot of the times that I hung out with you, in reality, I I remember being in. I, I basically I got introduced to a lot of music because of you, bro. Oh, that's I remember I remember you picking me up a lot of times, and you have certain type of jams that I didn't have. You know what I mean? Yeah. And, oh, we, and I had jams too, you know. But <laughs> you had jams I didn't have always, bro. For sure, it's man. a trip. Well, you know, like, uh, I always like putting homies on good music. You know what I mean? Like, whether or not they like it. Like, if it's good, like, you know, like, check it out. If you don't like it, well, fuck it. And I always like when homies put me on music. So, like, I remember I remember swapping shit with you. Like, yeah. I'm pretty sure this is shit you don't have. We'll check this shit out and yeah. hook me up. You know, hook up the libraries. Back when we used to hook up CDs and burn CDs and stuff. You know what I mean? So, yeah, man. You know, like, you know. I, a lot of my, a lot of, uh, at the beginning, it wasn't so much like hip hop, man. I, I like, I really like getting down with the HA because, like I said, they were like in a band, but they were punkers, you oh, know? Yeah. And, and that's what I was into probably before I was into hip hop, you know what I mean? If not both at the same time, like I never hated one while I liked the other, but you know, well, yeah. Well, 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 a lot of know? people think you have to be a certain type of way, like, like, because you're in a certain type of environment, like, but that was the complete, the, that wasn't the, the case. Uh, that, that, it, it almost like, like you're saying, it, you expect to be a listening to hip hop graffiti and, but in that case, it was like the guys you met were rockers. You know yeah. what I mean? Hey, but you know, don't get twisted. I got homies that like all they heard were like, you know, was gangster rap shit. You know what I mean? Fucking brother Lynch shit. You know what I mean? Like stuff like that. Like that's yeah. your cup of tea. You know? But you know, like we never been the type of people. Look, look, my my team we're we've all we're all team of leaders, bro. You know what I mean? So we have never been like, you know, about like you know riding wave. You just assume everybody, you know, leads their own fucking pack and stuff like that. And together, yo, we're fucking pack of bad motherfuckers i mean you know what i mean so you know I, i'm always been the type of guy more so like curious in what everybody's listening to and checking it out you know what i'm see because i might like it you know but uh you know i'm not gonna show some like fucking you know i don't know some some weird rock shit to one of the gangster more gangster homies bro yeah, they're, not gonna, yeah. You know, they're not trying to fuck they're with not gonna shit. be into it. even though nowadays you know shit fucking change man you know what i mean punk shows got a lot of you know cholo goth fools or cholo punk fools you know what i mean yeah did you uh how how was it in school, bro? Being a graffiti writer, how was that? Oh man, that's crazy, bro. There wasn't much school. I mean, you know, I mean, it was mostly like we were out painting, bro, at night. So there wasn't much school. It was most, I feel school was, you know, a class or two dip. You know what I mean? It, you know, I feel, honestly, school kind of seemed more so like a another way to fucking, you know, like get up, bro. <laughs> like yeah. you're over there. I, I, I kind of um, live close to a bunch of uh, uh haters, bro. So for me, like school was always kind of like. You know, it was it was, uh, it was an adventure, bro. You know what I mean? It was a lot of fighting and shit like that, transferring schools. You know what I mean? Like, a lot of shit had fucking happened. Um, uh, so, how was school? Wait, what was your question again? <laughs> how My was bad. school? <laughs> Hold on, all right? Give me a minute. Yeah, yeah, what, 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 what? Yeah. Times change, bro, huh? Times change. <coughs> yeah, shit but changed. Yeah, I, I, I remember hanging out with you, bro. You, 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 you always brought a good vibe to the scene, bro. Gracias, man. You Gracias. always brought a good vibe to the scene. And, and I'm, I'm real happy that you're here, bro. Gracias, I'm man. real happy that you're here. Happy to be here, bro. Happy to, you know what I mean? Be, you know, like I always been about supporting the homies and shit, bro. You know what I mean? Like, 
you've always been consistent with the music. You've always been one of the uh, only homies that's been, uh, you know, like I said, right, you know, I'm really into music. You know, we're talking about hip-hop and stuff. You know, you've always been into spitting. Well, we, you know, we always spit, but you'd be into, like, yo, you'd be writing shit, recording shit. Yo, check out my track. Yo, check out my album. You know what I mean? Like, always consistent. So when you disappeared for off the radar, off my radar, at least for a couple years, for sure, at least a couple years, because last time I seen you, you were at the baby shower. Yeah, but and before, before that, that, we were still not. Years, yeah, bro, yeah, before yeah, that see. was even longer, you know, I'm yeah. sure, so. You know and, what I mean, and, and, and what a trip, you know, because because now now you're a family man, you know. Yeah, hell yeah. How's that shift? How's that shift, bro? Because you you were out and about growing up. I, hell yeah. I got to hang out with you for a good while, and and you were always out, bro. Yeah, we and, were each and, other for a long time. And and you know how how there's the guys that you do say like, oh, you know, you don't think about this guy getting settled anytime soon. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. And then I I did see you get settled, bro. You know, like yeah. How's that transition for you? It's tight, man. You know what I mean? Like, I, I love it, bro. I mean, I, I, I don't got, I mean, pff, I I couldn't talk about it enough, bro. You know what I mean? It's like an, another level of, like, being dope, bro. You know what I mean? My my wife, bro, she's my best friend. My son, he's pff, my other best friend. You know what I mean? We we tight, and all our hobbies are the same. You know what I mean? If, if that's not the case, bro, you're probably doing it wrong. You know what I mean? We, you know, outdoor people, bro. Now it's gone, like I said, man. It's always been about music and shows and shit. You know what I mean? Right now, the shit I'm in, we're into, you know what I mean? It's like hiking, fucking fishing, camping, you know, a lot of camp, a lot of fishing, a lot of camping and working. I mean, just being about the family, bro. It's it's good, man. It's like, you know, I, it's, it's, it's next level, like pleasure shit, bro. You know what I mean? I, I, you know, it's just fucking, it's amazing. Yeah, because I, I remember you being straight up hip hop, bro. Like yeah, hip hop, yeah. I mean, sometimes people think hip hop is just li- what you see on TV, but no, it's 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 a lifestyle, it's right? It's a fucking lifestyle, for, for, bro. For, for, for you guys, it was a lifestyle, bro. And and I could I could say it, I I tell my wife too, like my I feel like I mean I wasn't a gangster, even though I hung around with a lot of people that are probably with you know in bad routes, but I was like I was a hip hopper, you know That's what I mean? Right. Yeah, I, no, I feel like sure I, was, I was a hip hopper, you know. But we're all products of our environment. We're from Santana, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so yeah. You could think you're nerdy right here, bro, but you, you know, you move it down another city or two, like, yo, you're the hardest fool right there. You know what I mean? Like, you know, it's just, it's, it's, a, I guess, I don't know if it's a matter of perspective or, you know, we're products for our environment. Well, well, well gangster, everybody's a gangster in their own right. Not everybody, you no, know, because not everybody, but in reality, you don't have to be in a gang to be a gangster. Yeah, you know what I mean? Gangster is definitely a state you, of mind. You're a gangster dude. in your own right. For sure. You know, and, 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 but, but, you know, like I'm saying, even if I was part of this or part of that, I always said I was a hip hopper, you know, yeah. and I think, you know, cause, cause of you guys, I was like, I hung out with real hip hoppers, bro. Yeah. I you mean, know? yeah, definitely. Like, you know what, what you said was right, bro. It's a lifestyle. You know, you saying that right now makes me think like, damn fool. Like I used to fill up my calendar with all sorts of shows. I don't even remember how finding, you know, magazines or whatever. I mean, internet was around then, I guess, you know what I mean? Or towards the end of it, it was easier to find shows, but you couldn't take me to enough live music, enough fucking art shows, you know, you know, anything we could boogie at, you know what I mean, spit at, or even listen to, bro, I love being a part of that shit every day, dude, it was, you know, it didn't matter if it was a Monday or a fucking Saturday, if it wasn't that, it was painting, you know what I mean, and if it was, I was kicking it with the homies, and if it wasn't that, it was just, you know, just, you know, fucking anarchy, dude, you know what I mean, hell yeah, a good time, you I know, know what I mean, like, I mean, I can't, bro, I mean, it's, you know, life's good, bro, we're lucky to be here, you know, I mean, sometimes I feel like that too, I tell my my wife, you know, like, you know, it's a, it's a trip, you know what I mean, and, you know. Would like, you, would you, would you ever, w- like, now that you're a family man, I know everybody has their team, bro, but you, you put a lot of time, how many years you say you put? Bro, you know what? At least half your life? Ugh, yeah, <laughs> you know what? I, I started fucking around when I was really young, bro, you know what I mean? Like, really, really young, Uh, like, you know, I moved from Santana, you know what I mean? Like, I guess, like, younger than most, <laughs> you know yeah. what I mean? And, uh, you know, well, when I start fucking around, you know, there's already other people doing the same type of shit, so, you it, know, birds of a feather flock well, together, well, yeah, so I mean, I, well, yeah. Uh, just younger than most. I remember one time, uh, this fool I was working and, and some wero was like, "It's my birthday today." I was probably like fifteen, bro. And, and he was, I'm like, "Oh yeah, what are you gonna do?" He's like, "I'm just turning twenty one. I'm gonna go buy my first beer." <laughs> I was like, "Bro, I'm already buying beer or something." Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I definitely yeah, drink. Trip, huh? Yeah, no, for sure. I definitely drink a lot less beer when I turn twenty one, bro, than I fucking uh. You know what I mean? Then, uh, then before I was twenty one, I did a lot more drinking before I was twenty one for sure, man. You know what I mean? You, you, uh, I, I, I like saying it. Uh, what must he say? Respectfully, the properly, the the uh, the legit way to say. It. Are you you still cannabis enthusiast? I mean, you know, yeah. If it, I mean, 
yeah, you know, we, not, we, not as much, not like I used to, bro. You know what I mean? Nah, I'm, I'm a family man now, bro. You know, I'm yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. But every now and then, you know, we like I said, we hike and we fish for nature people. You you still so, down you know, with it? Like bit. you still you, you uh, don't see it as a voodoo now? No, oh, you have fuck a kid? No, nah, never. Because personally, me, well, I did it for a good while, but yeah. uh, you know, but I have a kid now, and I I personally say like, you know what? That's the kind of reason why I, I slowed it down a little bit too, because I was like, I don't want to. I'm not gonna. I don't want to be personally the one that influences her to do yeah. it. You know. Yeah. Well, you if probably it's Santana, bro. Yeah. That's what I mean. It's Santana, but I don't want to be. I don't want to be the one to influence her. You know. Yeah. But everybody's different to each their own. That I see, it's super wrong. No, nah, I don't. You know, I'm not yeah. saying it's like, oh, you're gonna go to hell. No, 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 no. If you do it, you do it. You know, I, I know what it is. But how's that for you, bro? Now that you're a family man, what? what I what mean, do you look. See? In reality, man, like, I mean, you know, you're probably not going to be have to, to, you're not going to have to be the one to just introduce her to it, bro. Like, it, there's the internet, you know what I mean? Like, it's. Well, you know, not kid, even kid, the internet. Like, for yeah. example, it's Santana, bro. It's an, yeah, yeah. Know, they find Santana. out about it early, bro. I yeah. mean, to be honest with you, I was fucking with the scanted before I was fucking with anything else, bro. Like, that, that's, just, you know, the, the sad part of it, you know what I mean? Like, the little little ones, bro, they get a hold of whatever they get a hold of, and, and it, I don't even know what the fuck they're doing now, bro. And everything's lazy. How, how was that shit. for you, bro? Because you we were, you kind of brought it up earlier. <laughs> how, how was that for you doing it, bro? Because because there's a lot of you know I brought Israel last time. You, yeah, you know Israel. That's a homie. You know everybody knows him. Good uh, homie, uh, uh, MVP forever. Car Wash. Shout out to him. Um, he was talking about that a little bit, and like I was telling him, there there's a lot of people I don't know that can really stop doing it. You know what I mean? Yeah. So so talk about that real quick. Yeah. How, how was that little? Let's let's uh just say a little error for you, you know. How was it and what was it that you could you said no to it? All right, well first of all, shout to the homie Israel man. When we were drinking a lot too, yo, I had like at least two summers where I drank at least two or three highlights with that fool every fucking day at his fucking pad right down Beverly and shit, the legendary pad and his mom <laughs> would whip out girl. I'm talking like every day full mm -hmm. on some real fucking wine or shit like that. That's my good boy and shit like that. But um yeah, man, you know, uh, I guess my history with that shit, like, yeah, I got introduced to that shit by, like, some some uh, older broad we used to rent a room to, you know what I mean? Some, you know, shotness and stuff, you know. Um, but I got lucky I got introduced to it, you know, really young, bro, because at the time when I was doing it, not a lot of people were. There were very few. I'm talking, like, <laughs> you know, I was kicking it with older people and stuff, you know, with her homies and whatnot, thinking I was cool or whatever. But, uh, you know, I was already skating, doing weird shit, painting, bro. I mean, I was painting before that. So when that hit, it was next level shit, you know. It was more low-key shit, you know, I ended up finding out, like, one or two of my good homies who are still homies to this day also fucked around on the low-key shot, so, you know, we all linked up, and it was a bunch of shotness for a long time, you know what I mean, like a haze, you know what I mean, and then uh, I had, like, a really profound mushroom trip one day, you know what I mean, and, um, you know, before that, I was down to do whatever, like, I was, you know, I, I never really thought I'd, like, uh, live a long life, you know what I mean, so it was always like, well, fuck it, you know, like, shoot it, you know, whatever, but uh, this one time I had a, I want to say it was the second time I ate mushrooms, but I had a really, like, uh, really hard trip like a really extreme trip where what i got out of it when i came out was kind of like damn you know if i really want a trip i really want to get fucking high you know like yo eat a fucking hero dose of mushrooms you know eat a fucking you know an ounce uh, not an ounce bro i mean we're eating eighth then you know so you know eat two fuck it you know you really want to trip eat that shit you know but you don't got to go like to chemical shit and all that like yo what you need is the nature you know what i mean like that's what i got from that mushroom trip bro it was the most fucking bro it was such a fucking awesome experience that I just, like, got over all that shit. You know, I always kept smoking herb. The herb kept true, but I was like, fuck it. That got the pass, you know. Hey, let me get a beer, fool. Fuck yeah, it. Oh, my God. Like, I'm, all, I'm all like, <laughs> 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 you know. I was like, wait, I feel like I'm starting to slur my words because what, what I'm all thirsty. Doing? Huh? No, Am, I slurring, okay. Am I slurring, fool? Am I slurring? All right. Because like, I'll be drinking sometimes. I'll be slurring shit. And then right now, that I start getting all thirsty. I was like, man, fuck. Wait, I should just ask the fool, fool for instead of sitting here drugs. They're going to be like, this was all fucking on one and shit. That I'm not gonna edit. What the the drink thing, the beer? No, this this little scene. Oh yeah, okay. Yeah, shout out to my boy Panda. Panda's <laughs> in the house. Hell yeah, you know. From hey, the I infamous. Had, it's the eighty ers you know. I had to That's get right. a quick beer, bro. You know, my mouth was running dry talking all this nonsense. Ugh, thinking about that shit still gives me it, fucking it, dry to, mouth, bro. To me, it was a good experience in my life, bro. To be honest, it was an experience hanging out with all you guys, bro. Yeah. It was an experience, like. I don't know. I I, I I I learned a lot hanging out with all you guys, bro. To be honest, you know what yeah. I mean. Every experience is good, man. You know, you could take you know whatever you want from yeah, experience. Yeah. Like I said, even even but those you really, know those dark yeah. times and shit. They taught me a lot later, and it was weird seeing you know that shit come around later on when I was off of it. You know, like really getting the homies on it, and yo, you see, like that shit really fucks a lot of people up, bro. Yeah. But you know, like um, you know, 
I mean, if it's not one thing trying to put, you know, the fucking t- the man down, bro, it's something else, you know, brown man, black man, whatever for us, you know, the people. It's always something trying to put us down, bro. Mentality, jail, whatever, you know, and yeah. drugs are the same thing, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's still right here in the hood and it's it's fucked up, it's sad, but, you know, like, you know, everybody's always facing their own battles, bro. Like, you know, if you want to overcome it, bro, you know, you, it's going to take some fucking effort and shit, but, you yeah, know, but, possible, but we bro. have to, you know, th- yeah. uh, that's my, that's my thing. That, uh, the, the reason I wanted to start a podcast, uh, it's like a platform, you know, a platform. Uh, and I've said it a couple of times, like, cause, it, cause you talk about how, how I do music, but it's like, there's nobody that really put me on music. You know what I mean? Like yeah. nobody said, Hey, I'll record you, bro. Hey, check it out. I got a program. Hey, you know what? Let me, I'll record you a track or, or, if that opportunity comes and I see somebody like I'll record them one track, you know what I mean? Yeah. Why not? I want a platform where, where it could be positive, you know what I mean? Yeah. Like like helpful to the raza, to the community, because at the end, in this world, there's not only a raza. You know, we live in the United States, so there's every everything. So so if I see the opportunity to help a youngster, not not just a youngster, even an adult, you know, that's trying to trying to trying to get his stuff. And do it right at the same time, you know. I don't mind, you know. Like, yeah, yeah, hey, check sure. it out. Like, like, I'll do a track with you. Well, I'll, I'll, I can. I'm not the best guy, but I want something positive, you know. And and I want yeah. people to be here speaking positive, you know. Like, yeah. And and that's why I thought you were you were good for this because it's always been good vibes with you, bro. Yeah, you know, you know? I've always tried to keep it positive, bro. Like, you know what I mean? As much as we can and stuff, especially now, bro. As family, man. Like, I mean, to be honest with you, like. My patience is thin now, so it's like if it's not something I fully enjoy doing, I just don't fucking do it no more. You know yeah. what I mean? And and like I said, like um, you know, I'm, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Everybody lives like you know the way they like and stuff like that. You know, and you know, like you know, art's always been a part of my life, bro. And in them days, I was super active, fucking painting and stuff like that. You know, now not so much. I'm you know more so active with the family. You you, you grow you you still do a uh, uh, art though, like on do you draw because. Cause I remember growing up, I would see a lot of people, uh, including you, drawing sketchbooks for fun. You yeah. do you, what? You might not do graffiti now, but do you still draw on a sketchbook? Do you draw anything? W- what do you do now? Like like uh, pa- pastime? Not talking about work, but what do you do to keep your mind like? I mean, you know, fuck. I mean, I got a I got a little one, bro. He's three, so that's that's enough time to keep me busy. You know, what I mean, if it's not that. We're at the lake camping, fishing. But yeah, I still draw. Oh, yeah. I doodle. Well, 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 Not okay, as much okay. as I wish I would. You know what I mean? My, my wife, bro, she like works with metals and resins. She's like really on the artsy side. And I find that shit inspirational. That always makes me want to get down. At, <laughs> you know? Um, and I do start. I, I laugh because I start a couple canvases. But, you know, I, I never finish them and stuff like that. But I've been trying to push myself to do it, man. You know, it's a new year and shit. So, you know, maybe this year I'm going to start knocking out some canvases. Maybe even like a, a legal or something like that. I got some nasty styles. But I've always been about the arts. And I'm already... You know, hasn't suffered, bro. You know what I mean? Probably hasn't gotten as uh, as good as it, you know, as, as some of the homies out there still putting it down. But, I mean, I got styles for days. We're from the HA, you know what I mean? Like, we don't want to see, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, like, still paint. Not as much as I wish I could, you know, as much as, you know, as much as I could. Not as much as I um, should, but, you know, hopefully <laughs> that'll change soon. Who, 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 I mean, in your opinion, who, who you could say from the past, present, or from some other country, some other state, some other city? Is a graffiti writer that inspired you? Inspired me. I mean, just the local homies, bro. The HA, you know, really, bro. I mean, the fools I would see up down here. Aside from that, like the fools you would see in LA driving back in the day, you know, I mean, the old school writers, AWRs, and all that shit, you know, CBSs and shit, you know. But um, anybody I see locally that I see for myself, like yo, I'd, I'd give that shit props, you know. And like um, you know, like I said, I got lucky that I I met the older homies who just happened to be from the crew. You know, because they were like, oh, like, you paint little homie? Like, oh, that's cool. Like, yo, but you could up your game. Like, they're all about stepping the game up. Like, yeah, you can get down right here, or we could get down all around over there. Like, you know what I mean? Like, bro, it just, you know, it, it's it's so vast, bro. You know what I mean? There's so many fucking, you know, spots to hit, you know what I mean? And whatnot, you know what I mean? It's never-ending, bro. You know what I mean? It's never-ending, dude. So, you know, it's all about trying to get a piece of that pie, not so much a little local pie, you know what I mean? The city was always on lock, no matter what, you know, but... These fools were like about rolling trains, you know what I mean? Fire extinguishers, like next level shit, bro. You know what I mean? I I was I was amped to kick it with them fools, so that upped my game big time because I wanted to show them like, yeah, I can get down with that shit too, you know. Yeah. So you know, it's shit evolved, and you know what I mean. Yeah, some some dope times, bro. Some good times. I mean, sure. I, at least I'm talking about like the times that I was in, I was seen. You know what I mean? Yeah. You were. Well, you always seen, been. Now now it's a whole different. There's still writers from HA like we talk about. Oh yeah. And I see. 
But it's still, I'm not involved. You know what I mean? Yeah. I don't hang out. I don't talk to them. Or I don't really know what's going on. But I still see on the walls, bro. To this day. For sure. The legendary HAK. You know what I mean? Probably fucking now even more than ever, bro. You know what I mean? Straight up. I mean, I mean, I don't, you know, that may or may not be true, bro. Because, you know, we used to kill it. The homies. Yeah, yeah, yeah You know, yeah. it always comes in ways. But the homies now, bro, especially now that they're like, you know, they're tight for like as, as our chapter along with the other chapters. Like, it's, it's heavy, bro. I drive a lot for work. I mean, you know, I mean, fool, if you don't get out of, like, if you don't get on the 10, the 60, the, you know, 210, 215, like, you know, you're never going to see it, bro, but fuck, you know, you'd be seeing the homies out there. If you've seen days way the fuck out there in Fontana, you know what I mean, wherever, repo rolling fucking trains, you know what I mean, bro, what, you know what, what I mean? kind of respect you get, bro? Do you get more hate or more love? It was a lot of hate, you know what I mean? You know, there's always going to be a lot of hate, you know, um, a part of me is like, you know. We never did it for the hate, bro. I did it for the love. It's always been more love than hate. You know what I mean? I feel like the fools who hate just hate because they, you know, I don't know, man. Maybe they got this. They couldn't one up us. You know what I mean? Or, or whatever and stuff. But there's definitely a lot of hate, bro. But I mean, if you don't got a pack of haters behind you, you know, you're fucking doing it wrong, bro. You know what I mean? So the more hate we got, the more, you know, I thought, you know, really the more props we were getting. And, you know and, what I mean? And then graffiti, is it like, like, is it the same? Like, we, 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 because obviously, even in graffiti crews, there's beef. But how, how's the beef in graffiti crews? Like is it does it get deep where like I can't, I can't I'm gonna kill this guy or or does it just get deep where like I'm gonna beat this guy up like well I mean look man look I'm I'm gonna say what one of the older homies told me for when I was getting you know when when I was painting a lot and it was like yo you know you go over fools you know we wouldn't slash fools you know when you know like that 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 rule we don't we don't cross you anybody could do a fucking line it was always more like cap it go over colors cover the shit so you can't even tell the shit was there multiple colors you know. But then the haters come back and they slash or throw an X or they tag in it. You know what I mean? And yo, you get fed up with that shit, bro, because you go, you'll kill 30 minutes to an hour. Fuck, sometimes, you know, you don't got a good spot. You'll take as long as you need to kill the spot. Hey, so let's go up there in five minutes, hate it. So, yo, that kind of creates a different type of rage, bro, where it's like, you know, like, w what do we do? You know, these fools, they, they obviously can't, you know, compete on the art level and stuff like that. So one of the other homies was like, well, fuck, fool, these fools obviously aren't artists. Like, you got to beat them the fuck up. Just fucking let them know what time it is. You know what I mean? So. You know, it, sometimes it got to that point, you know, especially then we we're younger. You know what I mean? Like now, I can't speak on it now. Like I said, I'm not as active like that. But like, yo, I was never scared to fight. None of my homies were. You know what I mean? As a matter of fact, like, you know, like, you know, there was nothing like, you know, like, a, like, you know, getting it, getting it in. You know what I mean? Clean and stuff like that. You know, fools were downer then. You know, I mean, I'm sure fools. You know, if you're with it, then you know you're with it now. Yeah. And and so forth. You know what I mean? Like, you know, I, you know, it was a lot more fighting then, though. You know what I mean? And um, if not battles, you know. It was, Take it to the freeways or to the can when you can. Fuck, I don't remember what I'm saying, so we have to edit that shit. Nah, no trip. Yeah, yeah it, it's it, it. It's a dope scene, bro. It's a dope scene. It's it's. At least you guys didn't have to take it that route, you know. Yeah. Wait, what did you ask me though? I don't remember what you asked me. I'm talking about uh, how's the beef when it comes oh, the to beef? beef. That's right, that's right. Like, does it get to more like yeah. intense to where you gotta watch your back or, cause like I said, there's tigers. That tag, they're not, yeah. but they're still, cause it's more like in the gang scene. But they're taggers. Yeah, yeah. You know, and at the end you gotta watch your back. Yeah, the beef was definitely real back in like when we were younger, bro. Like high school days after high school, whatever. Like it was constant fighting. I'm not even gonna lie. Like and be like, no, it's all art and shit. Like there was a lot of fighting, bro. You know, but a lot of the people that were you know hating on you know on the crew and all that, they they weren't about painting, bro. So you know they were more so about you know like. You know, even some of my own homies and stuff like that, they would consider like a battle, like you know, like fucking throwing blows and shit like that. I wasn't about, I was just throwing blows. But um, you know, a lot of people that you know were hating, you know, weren't about it. So it was a lot of fighting then. You know, and sometimes that escalated, you know, further than that. But for the most part, like you know, like I said, we're a hip hop crew, we're a tagging crew. So you know, we try to keep it specifically that, bro. Like you know, and the real ones did too, bro. And if not, we we're never scared to pull up on somebody and be like, yo, like well, what's going on? Let's talk about it. You fools wanna put some cans on the line like what's going on you have beef with this homie fucking fight it out like we're all fucking men here you know what i mean like you know it's you know when you have good older homies and shit like that like it's easier to do that type of shit you know what i mean like some shit got out of hand sometimes to a point where it could have escalated really crazy and then you know you you know have the older homie go talk to the other homie and you know <laughs> take care of it like well you know what's the problem really about fucking handle that shit and you know like don't let it get any further than that bro you you know want to battle you, you know one of the guys that i i got to know real good it was also ruckus, man. I mean, I don't know his story now, but yeah. but he he's one of the guys that uh that I always looked up to. Like I was like that guy's to me, you know. The, the, at one point, I was like, when you look at somebody being a cool guy, I was like, that fool's a cool guy, dog. Yeah. That fool's cool. 
He's yeah. a cool guy. I mean, I don't know now. I mean, it's been a long time. Like I said, I can't really judge because I haven't talked to him in years. And I don't really know, you know, the situation with him. But I always thought he was a dope rider, bro. You know? Yeah, definitely dope rider, bro. Dope, uh, you know, older homie shit, too. That fool put me on a lot of music, bro. He's probably one of the fewer homies that put me on, like, a lot of dope music. You know, I have a few homies that put me, like, that were specifically, like, this was always blessing it with some nice tracks, shit I never heard. You know, he's definitely one of those homies and shit. But, you know, like. Yeah, yeah. Dope, Times bro. change. Inspirational yeah. for sure. Yeah, inspirational for sure, bro. You know what I mean? Everybody, yeah. you know, carves their own path, you know, goes, you know, whatever yeah. route they want to go and shit like that. Still the homie, much, it's all love for all the homies and yeah. shit, you know? Like, Excel too, like, like, like when you see them, tell them I said, what's up, bro? You know <laughs> what I mean? Boy. Tell them right now on the group chat, what's up? <laughs> what's up, Chino? <laughs> Been a long time, bro, but do your thing, you know? Stay safe and that's it. Trap Souls, what's up with that? Tell the people about that shit. That's right. Uh, Trap Souls, damn. On the spot. Hey, didn't you try out for Trap Souls, bro? No, hell <laughs> no. Nah. Nah, I never tried out, bro. I fucked with you, fools. I spit with you, fools. Uh, you know? nah, it was always yeah, was dope, H-A no mas. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Trap Souls is the old school crew that I was in, you know what I mean? Rap crew, rap crew. That's right, that's right. That was a rapping crew with a couple boys and Panda was always there backing us up yeah. with us, you know? Yeah, I think we have a track. I have I have your track somewhere, bro. I have the I one have that goes... Hey like, man, you know what I mean? Always been about hip hop, bro. I have it was like a cypher. I, I mean saved. That shit, any kind I of remember cypher. you saved like s- you did like eight tracks. I have them. I have them. You I, have them. I have them somewhere, bro. I have them. <laughs> yeah, just you and a fool. I don't. I don't remember. I, I have a uh, one. That I if forgot. I never record anything, it's probably all with you and shit. You know, I have, oh, you know, with my homie Spaz and shit. You know, free that Spaz homie. too. I too. You know what I mean, that's all. That that was hey, a homie too. Hey, hey, I'll, I'll be honest too. I'll be honest too. That fool to me was the best spitter. I mean, from the people that I would see. Hell like yeah. a spit. I'm not gonna lie. He was a spitter, bro. Yeah. I don't know. He was a spitter too. Not me. just spitter, for fucking probably the downest homie I fucking ever had, bro. On Still downest. That yeah, yeah. I was, that's my fucking boy and shit. And, and like I said, I, 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 at the end, like you said, everybody carves their own path, you know? Like, yeah. I haven't talked to that guy in a long time, bro, to be honest. Like, I haven't. But it's like everybody carves their own path, you know what I mean? Yeah. You know? But hopefully he's doing okay. Shout out to Spaz, you know? I. I tried calling him once or twice, you know what I mean? I tried getting a couple homies giving me his info. They never gave it to me. And that's as far as it went, you know? But, hey, it is what it is, you know? At the end, what you do is what you do. Hey, the homie's coming out soon. He'll be out soon and shit, you know what I mean? I I don't know how soon, but soon. It's been a long time. Yeah, it's been a long time. It's about that fucking time and shit. That guy was a... There's a few guys that I could say were gangster, like, in that (laughs) route, you know? And and, and he's he's, he's there, bro. Like I said, one one... of if not the downest homies, fuck you know. I've I've had the blessing of coming across a lot of homies in my time. Let's like say going to shows, you know what I mean, and painting and you know being down from like a, a righteous crew, bro. Like that got love, like from the hip hop community, from real writers. We got love, bro. You know what I mean. So showing Anaheim, showing Costa Mesa, showing Laguna, fucking, you know what I mean. Showing Inglewood, it didn't matter. You know what I mean. I always, you know, represented, you know, what it was and stuff. And we always got a lot of love. So I've always I've had the blessing of coming across a lot of people, different scenes and all that. You know what I mean. You know. Dope heads in all time, and like to this day, that fool, you know, still one of the wildest for sure. Well, yeah, man. Yeah, as a what, what you know about, uh, like, like a lot of people. I remember growing up, but it's it's probably that new era doesn't know, bro. But I remember before I even heard new about graffiti, like I would hear the name Eeks. Hell yeah, you rest know? in peace, Eeks. For and sure. then once I once I got to know a couple guys, you know, they 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 talk the story real quick. I mean. Nothing major story that that they were spit, but what happened to Eeks, bro? Well, you know, rest in peace, you know, uh, to the homie Eeks. I mean, the only thing that really matters is he got fucking killed by the cops, bro. You know what I mean? He was, uh, you know, painting and stuff like that. You know, wasn't packing and stuff like that. They're going to say what they're going to say. Like, the homie was just painting foolish, you know what I mean? He was a fucking righteous homie, you know. I didn't have the, you know, I, I, never, I never met the homie and stuff. I was kicking it with the homies. I want to say I got down with the H.A. like the year after. He passed away or at the end of that year in late. Oh, for real? So that was recent? I thought that was like a long time ago. It was, yeah. No, when I got down with the H.A., like he had already passed. You yeah, know but, I mean? but I'm like, because oh, I, I knew when you got in there. Yeah. But I didn't know it was that recent from that time. You know, if I thought it was, it was a couple years back. You know, one of the homies told me it was in 01 or something like that. You know what I mean? I just know that I got down with them, you know, late 01. That's 45 minute mark. Yeah. <laughs> That's all right. That's all right. Mm. But, um. You know what I mean? I, I can tell you the exact year, bro, but, uh, you know, um, it, it was before my time and shit like that. I mean, I mean, honestly, bro, I couldn't tell you a writer that was more up in Santana than Eeks, bro. I mean, that fool was on top of fucking any fu- every fucking rooftop, bro, from 
I'm talking Maine, Bristol Harbor. Like, that fool was on everything, killing it, bro. Fillings, all that shit. It was a wild one, bro. And when the cops took one, man, you know what I mean? Like, that shit, you know, the the, the, the crew took a blow, bro. The graffiti world took a bro, blow, man. I remember seeing a lot of people showing love, you know, telling the, telling the homie to rest in peace and stuff. And, you know, like, the homie really took, like, a really hard anarchist fucking churn after that. Like, you know, we've always been about, like... What, what, what's the trip? Because what at that time, bro, let me tell you like this. I would hear... My dad's homies, <laughs> like 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 like, cause you, my dad was a paisano, but 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 he he grew up with a lot of English speaking folks right here. You know what I mean? Maybe a little younger than him, but but still, at that time they were forty, bro. They were like forty five year old men. We were fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, and they would know I was doing graffiti, and they would tell me like, I remember I would see this guy named Ix. Yeah. I was like, what the hell? Like, like these fools, these fools are like gangsters, you know, <laughs> game bangers, old school game bangers too. On top of that, and it's like, they 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 would talk about them, bro. I, I guess that's that's some history for Santana too, right? That's some deep fucking Santana history for sure, man. Uh, like I said, I've bro, I couldn't tell you how many people that I told I told you know who I was down with and stuff that basically knew him or knew of him and knew of his art and stuff like that gave the homie mad props bro well, like I mean he's a legend for sure from well, Santana in fucking the graph world period yeah. bro you know what I mean well, one of the homies you you probably know him he, Blackie you know Black's Jason's brother yeah yeah one day he told me back in the day the vatos that were getting up was X. you know what I mean like yeah. that was that was a vato that was getting up like, like, like in kind of similar words you know yeah and I was like damn that's a trip you know like people from other other aspects other scenes, you know, give him that respect. Yeah. Well, you know, the, yeah, no, 100%, bro. Like I said, man, I can't, you know, like I said, fo- you know, psh, you know, yeah, dude, it was, it was a tough one, man. Like I said, you know, the homie's always been about, you know, fuck, fuck authority, you know, always hating all fucking cops. You know what I mean? Like, same reason, bro, they took a homie. They still keep taking people. Bro, I mean, like, this shit was happening before video cameras. Look, I mean, like, look at people be writing and shit for that shit yeah. now. This is, bro, our crew been exposed to shit. You know what I mean? From the beginning. Someone close to home, right? Down. It's super close to home, bro. Like, I'm just, dude, you know what I mean? I remember it was a certain fucking vibe when I got down with the H.A., bro. Like I said, it was very, you know, anarchist fucking vibe that I fucked with heavy, bro. You know what I mean? It was before that shit was, you know, before it is what it is now, bro. You know what I mean? People, you know, I'm, I'm not even going to talk on any of that shit. Yeah, yeah, now, yeah, You know what I mean? But it's always been fuck the police for us, bro. That's 100%, you know what I mean? We've always, you know, yo, we'll throw up some graph. We'll throw a fucking message in that shit, too. Fools fucking know what time it is, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and right now, right now, right now, you you spend a lot of time fishing. You were telling me, huh? <laughs> yeah, yeah, hell yeah, Husky Anglers. So it's a fishing club, a little outdoor fucking club. You know, we getting going. Catch us at a tournament soon. We'll start fucking your shit up. Yeah, and and, and I see, spot. I see. Since I, uh, I knew you were fishing. You know, when I when I met you, maybe we went fishing once or twice. I'm not sure in the beginning. Maybe not, but because I started fishing kind of a little bit. I, I, it was me and Froggy. I remember, well, yo, check this out. So I remember, I could, I could tell you, I remember when I met you, bro. And uh, when I met you, when I met you, damn, my bad. (laughs) 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 When I met you, yo, we were like skaters and shit like that. But I remember, I uh, remember it was real early into kicking it with you. And I knew some of your homies more than I knew you. Somebody mentioned fishing, bro. I had been fishing all my life, you know what I mean? So I remember thinking like, oh, you fools fish. We actually went to the pier one time. Caught a bunch of mackerel, stabbed them, threw it back, catch sand sharks and shit. So we've gone fishing one time. Yeah. You know I mean, I told you I'll do your podcast, but I gotta take you out now. I'm like now yeah, we kill yeah. shit, bro. Yeah. Well, you know well, I, mean? we I want to like, see, we see it, bro. Yeah, we release. Well, you know I, I want to eat part. some stuff too, bro. Yeah. All right. Well, you know. I, you want some I, I, I believe, eat some I, I, I'm a firm believer. If you catch it, you eat it. You know. Yeah. That's why I want to fish. I don't catch fish. One time I caught a little fish this big, bro, and that was the best fish I. But I think because I caught it. But don't trip, bro. I'm going to take you fishing if we catch mad fish. Big fish, whatever. Yeah, I wanna, you know what I, I mean? Like, <laughs> I don't want to throw trip. it back. I, nah, we can throw that. Nah, nah, if you nah. catch 10, Look, throw you know nine what? back. I'm not going to take, one. I'm not gonna take you fishing, bro. I'm going to take you catching, bro. You know what I mean? That's the difference. That's what we do. We go catching and stuff, you know. Husky anglers, man, you know. Oh, okay, so okay. You got to get lit to get bit, you know. Where do you go fishing? Anywhere, bro. Everywhere. We're beautiful Santana, Orange County, you know what I mean? We got the ocean 15 minutes away. We got a lot of lakes, a lot of ponds. You know, I, I don't really know really how many uh local spots we got to start fishing you know like more recently you know now like uh, i hadn't fished for a while you know have a baby and stuff you know he's three so you know more so now that he's a little bit older like you know we've always been hiking and camping but now i'll be taking the poles out he likes watching he likes you know he's, he's partaking now so there's a lot more fishing going on now and it's just gonna get like more more and more bro and, and when the derbies happen forget about it bro he's gonna be fucking killing him what, what do you what, what do you recommend bro because i know a lot of guys still 
in the mix with kids you know so you having a kid what 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 route you want to take bro you know route what what do you mean like 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 would you want your kid to learn or go through what you did or 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 cuz I, sometimes i see a lot of my friends and not just friends you know it's people in general exposing their kids to 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 um their lifestyle yeah. and which is going to probably end in and and end up those kids will probably end up in the same situation hopefully like a not. bad cycle so so what do you what do you want for your kid bro bro i mean nothing but love you know what i mean like for my kid bro like he's gonna be whoever he's gonna be bro if he likes fishing fuck yeah fantastic if he ends up liking something completely different bro i'm just there to support him bro and make sure he's fucking good and he's happy you know what i mean like you know we're from the new school now bro like the whole you know fear-based culture like fucking you know raising them through fear and beating the fuck out of them you know what i mean just to just to get them to listen bro like you know we've, we've come a long way bro you know what i mean parenting's come a long way bro like from all the all the the dichos, you know what I mean, from back in the day, you know, from we're, we're rasa, bro, you know what I mean, we've been, we're controlled, you know, bro, we were colonized, conquered, you know what I mean, so we've been controlled through fear since the beginning, so it's only natural our parents only know that way to parent us, you know what I mean, to control yeah. us, yo, they gotta control us through fear, bro, you know what I mean, we definitely don't raise our son that way, bro, you know what I mean, it's all fucking love and stuff like that, bro, it could be done, you know what I mean, I mean, you know, respect and, you know, discipline 100%, bro, but, you know, we're definitely into, like, new school, you know what I mean, like, I guess you would call it new school, I don't fucking know, bro, different than the way I was fucking raised. You know yeah. what I mean, not not having them fear the fucking world, bro. Yeah. You know what I mean, like, so he's gonna be exposed to, he's gonna expose to, bro. I want to have the type of relationship. We could talk to me, like, you know, it's gonna be hard for him to see shit I haven't already seen. <laughs> you know what I mean? Unless it's new stuff, bro. I've been, bro, I've been around since young. Like I said, I, I didn't really think I was gonna live an old life. You know what I mean? Definitely think I was gonna be. I'll be thirty three this year, bro. You know what I mean? Damn. Yeah. If I, I didn't really didn't think I hit my thirties when I was, especially when I was young and fucking around. Fuck, we, we lived fast, you know. We lived fast, dude. You know, not we weren't, you know. So, you just yeah, uh, and you're here right now. It's a blessing, bro. Look, man, I, right I, now. I can't say I regret anything I did, bro, because maybe the man I am today, you know what I mean, and whatnot. Like I said, you know, certain shit I did got me in trouble, but yo, it kept me out of trouble in the long run. You know what I mean? I, I'm where I'm now. I'm cool, bro. Like I'm not, you know what I mean? Like I'm still got most of my brain. You know what I mean? It's, like I said, man, fucking, you know what I mean? Beautiful wife, fucking healthy son. You know what I mean? Like pff, life's good, bro. You know well, what I mean? Well, well, because a panda right here. I, I'll be honest. Um. I, I met my wife a long time ago, ditching and whatnot, and then I lost contact with her, maybe like five, six years. And then one day, you hit me up. You're like, hey, let's go to a party. I was like... Yo, I thought you forgot that I was there when you met your fucking girl. I was like, nah. You're like, come on, let's go. I was like, nah, nah. I don't know what happened. I was tired. I just like, wanted to chill, and I was like, let's go. I'm like, all right, let's go. And I always say that was the end of my life that day. But you're welcome. <laughs> you're welcome. Hey, but shout hey, out to hey, the homie Con. Hey, my, but, my homie oh, yeah. Con, man, Con, Adrian. Con, it was yeah. actually uh, you know, and his wife Brenda. Yeah, Brenda. You know, I mean, yeah. still my people to this day. You know, it's actually good her people, birthday. Good people. It's actually her birthday that we're pulling up to. You know what I mean? And uh, yeah, I dragged her ass with me. Let's roll. And you know what I mean? The rest is history from yeah, there, bro. People. You know what I mean? You got They're a beautiful people. family now yeah. and whatnot. Thank you, know you what thank I mean? you. Yeah, well, it's yeah, funny too, man. I thought that shit to myself driving over here today. I was like, man, I wonder if this fool remembers, yo, that I was there at that, at, you know, that we pulled up to the party together where he met his wife. And, you know, I want to say we didn't even go home together that day, bro. Nah, like, nah, you, like, you know what I mean? Like, yeah. you. Oh, that's it. That's a wrap, bro. You know what I mean? Yeah, that was uh, a trip. That's huh? good, man. You know, like I said, man, synchronicity is a beautiful thing, bro. You know what I mean? Sometimes. Yeah. Good times with you, bro. bro. Good times with you, and and I and I, pre like, I, I appreciate you coming through, bro. Yeah, yeah sure. I appreciate know, you bro, coming too. To here, man, you, know? you know, you know, maybe in, in a little while we could do another session, you know. Yeah, yeah, and, yeah you know what and, I mean. And, and see how it goes, you know. Um, but I appreciate you sure, coming bro. through. Anytime you want to have me on, bro, talk yeah, about whatever. You know, we've been, you know what I mean. We've been through the trenches together, bro. You know. This is a Everybody. third eye boogie. Third Eye Boogie, man. If Third Eye Boogie. Well, again, me, where, me, you know where I mean? can they find you, bro? Support the homie. Uh, I don't got anything to promote, bro. You can find me on IG. I'm just yeah, here to, yeah, yo, yeah. you know, your yeah, shit. Bro. Thank Look you, up thank the you. homie shit at him. Fucking his tracks. Real hip-hop. Santana thank fucking you, thank artist you, right thank here. You. you know what I mean? Chicano artist too, bro. Like shit in Spanish is fire as fuck too, you know? Just always trying to inspire the homie. Put him out there. We're talking about doing open mics. Yo, put him yeah. on it. You know what I mean? Check out his shit. Good shit. You know, other than that, yo, look on the freeways, bro. Don't think I got to promote the homies, you know? That's look right. Look on the freeways, that's the, right. the 81ers, bro. The highway any, assassins. Any that's right. You know what I mean? Shout and out. Shout out right chapters. now. You got some time. Shout oh, it dog, out. You know what Anybody I mean? like, want to shout out? Shout them out right the now. For the whole fucking clan, bro. I can't, you know what I mean? I can't say anybody fucking in particular on the fool's murdering shit right now without leaving some of the homies out. Yo, get better fucking repo fucking days. You know what I mean? The little homie Ecor, bro, putting it down. 
all the fucking shout, Pomona homies. Shout out to Nerve. San Fernando. Yo, I've met these fools at Psycho Realm shows, but the homie be functioning with them heavy. Shout out to Nerve. That's my boy, too. Anybody I've functioned with, you know? All my people, bro. It's all nothing but love. You know what I mean? If you, you know, it's all nothing but love with all my people, bro. You know, if you're my people, it's all good. You know what I mean? 81, right, bro. Like, I'm, you know, all over, right. all over your city. And now we'll steal your lake spots, too, and your fish. <laughs> What's up? Maybe your woman too. Yeah, yeah, nah, 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 nah. <laughs> but catch me and my woman. I just, I just playing. I just playing. Yeah. Uh, well, hey, once again, thank you for coming through. My boy, bro, I appreciate nah, it. Know. You know what I mean? It's my boy Panda right here. Yeah. Many good times check and check the homie shit out, bro. Real yeah. fucking, you know, real fucking hip hop artist right here, bro. Check him out. You know, what I mean, catch him at a local show. I told us we'll fucking get out there. You know, catch him at. Oh, follow me on Instagram. Instagram, follow the homie, bro. Yeah, I got, I post all my music there. Follow Here's me the on YouTube on my page, you know, Sideways E N T S I D E W A Y Z E N T. Rest in peace, Eeks, Gachos, fucking Cynic, Grandma. You know what I mean? All of everybody, bro. Uh, oh, hey, 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 real quick, you know, like, what you gotta say about Grandma? You know? Oh man, bro, she was a mom to to everybody. You yeah, know, respect uh, to to the she. Yeah, she was. I I. She, I have, I have, I have memories of that, bro. I mean, you know, you know, you, you know, you've kicked it with the, but you're never from the, from the crew, bro. But you were always family of the crew, bro. You know what I mean? Enough to know that, yo, she was like a mother to the whole crew. You mm-hmm. know what I mean? That her house was the headquarters for the crew. You know what I mean? She, bro, she was a lunch lady, I think, at Edison. I didn't go to Edison, but I took a bunch of people over to her house, you know, for parties for whatnot. That knew her, you know what I mean? That were like, oh, I know her, you know. Like, I'm, I'm uh, at least ten people, you know. So she's yeah. definitely, yo, you want to talk about Santana me, too, me, bro? Me. She's a legend yeah. in Santana. She is definitely awesome. a legend to the crew, a legend to me personally, bro. You know what I mean? She, you know, rest in peace and stuff. She's up there with us. I, I remember that they, they called her Grandma Goose. You know, I remember that name. So <laughs> yeah. may she, may that lady rest in peace, and my condolences to her, her grandchildren, because that's who I knew. You know, I knew, her, right. I knew a lot of her grandchildren. Free all the homies too, busted and shit. You know what I mean? Sorry, I'm right, dog, but. You know, so I love and shit. Yeah, know. free all Before, If you know me, you know me. I'm a lagger, so. And let, let's uh, let's uh, let's progress. You know what I mean? Pre- let's right, let's man. get out and do better. You know. That's right, Santana. What's that, up? That, that's that's what I want to promote. You know, I want to promote better. I want to promote. Leave what you have to behind and move on forward. It's all about positivity, man. Yo, I mean, come on, bro. You know what I mean? Corona and all that shit happening, bro. That means that's not a sign, yo, to leave all that bad shit behind. And, just worry about shit that matters. Fuck it. Just worry about shit that matters. You know what I mean? Shit's exactly. good. Life's good, bro. Yeah, you know what I mean? Make yeah, the most of it yeah. and shit. You know? Worry about what matters. Yeah. Don't worry about what doesn't. She can you know? always be worse. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, yo, you know, she can always be better, bro. But trust me, she can be way fucking worse, bro. And the sun rises the next day. Oh, Amen. It's your boy Dwell, aka Mr. J. Like and subscribe. My boy Panda, once again. Once again, thank you for coming. Nah, happy to be here, bro. Stay tuned. Happy to be here. And have fun. Peace.